This is Gabriel Gonzalez for the Cage Side Press here with Jaime Gosali, who is fighting this Saturday at Bellator 192. First off, I think a lot of people ask, you know, at 44 years old, keeping uh, 45, wow, keeping up with the younger competition and all that, you know, that's got to come up at a certain point in your training and with the preparation. How do you feel at this stage of your career? I don't feel nothing. You know, I'm feeling like I felt like 20 years ago, so I don't feel something different. You know, people tell me, you know, maybe after training, the recovery is taking too long. I don't know. I don't remember how we covered, you know, 20 years ago. So everything is go step by step. And uh, if I can do it, I'm doing it, you know. I was going to say, do your younger training partners at Team Henzo Gracie ever get, tease you a little bit about being the grandpa or anything? Or do you feel like they treat you right there on the same level? I don't, I don't know if they know that my age, you know, but when I'm coming to training, you know, all the time it's different people, you know, so nobody, nobody know my, my age, you know, so sometimes I'm fighting like with the younger guys, they think I'm the same age, you know, but. Now, in your last fight too, I read this and I want to just get your reaction on it, that you were the first Israeli mixed martial artist to compete at Madison Square Garden. What was, I mean, what value is that to you? What's it like to know that you hold that kind of accolade? That was the most crazy thing that happened to me in my life, you know, it's to be when all the legend of the fighting fought and I'm the first Israeli and I'm always going to be the first Israeli, so it's, it's crazy, you know, it's something that I'm going to take with me, yeah, my life, my grand, my grandchildren I think going to talk about it, you know, to be the first one. Now, a lot of people also ask online about the tattoos. You have a lot of them, some more important. I know the on your elbow is one that gets a lot of attention. Can you tell us about some of your tattoos and what they mean to you? I got a lot of stuff. This is the Henzo, Henzo symbol. Yeah. The Henzo symbol. This is I did when my son born, so it's like a samurai with a child. This is the Star of David that I'm taking with me every place I'm going because this is a part of the Israeli Amton. You know, the national anthem to be free in our own country, the country of Jerusalem, Israel, Jerusalem. And I have a lot of Batman tattoos on my back, on my legs. I like the Batman, so everybody call me the Israeli Batman now. Uh, all right, so I wanted to ask you, so I've heard you're a big fan of Batman, that's why you have the nickname. Which Batman is better, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck? Is it one of the old ones? You know, one of them play a different Batman. You know, one of them the the old Batman, the old the, the when Batman become old guy, and one of them when Batman was young. So I like the Ben Affleck because I'm old. No, <laughs> so no, I, I like it. I like them all. No problem. And finally, what is your prediction for how your fight is going to go on Saturday? Probably leg locks or triangle first round. Triangle first round? Yeah, like always, no? <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, Haim. Best of luck on Saturday. We look forward to seeing your performance.